find the forum uh, scroll down to motorsports you'll find the dakar link and the appropriate thread So what about those cars today? Just look at what they were facing. They actually amended the route for the trucks because some of the cliff drops were just too dangerous for them. And I can tell you that uh, the leader from yesterday uh, was looking very, very dodgy indeed this evening. Shagin, more on him in a moment. The cars, well, they were away reasonably early, ready to eat up some bikers ahead of them. Well, the morning mist had already burnt off, but burning up the track, who else but Carlos Sainz? We do love him. He's a nice guy, actually. Trained as a lawyer. His dad made him do it. Said, if you want to be a motorsports uh, star, learn to be a lawyer first so that when you fail, you've got something to fall back on. He never did fail. He never did pick up law. And he's forgotten just about everything he ever learned. We used to talk to him a lot on the WRC. And it's nice to see him again. Back here in a different form. Sides having his fun. Others, not so. Slesser stopping with a puncture, nothing too serious. Stefan Pederhansel was the best of the Mitsubishis today. We always knew he'd come good, so it proved. From ninth to seventh overall, but ominously, Pederhansel is only 24 minutes and 31 off the lead pace now. So closing down just a little bit. It's tighter in the cars than it is in the bikes, that's for sure. De Villiers, well, he's been brilliant so far in this rally. Third home today, behind Sainz and Peter Hansel, second in the overall standings. The Villiers trails Sainz by just three minutes and 16. It's Volkswagen's one, two and three with Souza in the sort of independently funded, although closely aligned car. Number three at 313 running in third overall. The Villiers finishing third and second in those standings, as we've told you. Luke Alfont with his troubles. Just seemed to have lost his bite, Luke Alfond, this year. And uh, maybe he's bitten off more than he could chew by trying to get two in a row. Look at the plains that they were heading through today, up into the mountains. Uh, farewell to the Atlases, as, uh, or the Atlai, <laughs> as we head to the Western Sahara. And uh, this is Luke Alfond. Yes, had a couple of punctures and uh, obviously just slammed it a bit too hard in a fit of peak at some point. And uh, as a result, uh, the back end was just a little bit too open, as you can see, which doesn't exactly help. Alfon finishing fourth today, fifth overall. Ahead of him in the overall standings is Nanny Roma. Roma. Hoping to be best Mitsubishi today. Just missing out. So there are the standings. In fact, I'm just cross-checking my results here, and it seems that uh, Roma indeed finished behind Alfond on this day, so our apologies to him. Shisharit in the number 12. We spoke to him just a moment ago, live at the Bivouac. He's running very, very well, and for a debutant, absolutely tremendous. What is it about skiers? Well, they say it's speed without the motor. All you do is give them a motor. They're still just as quick, and so it's proving. Sousa looking very good, the Portuguese. Handy out there right from the start. Seventh today, but stays third in the overall standings. 11 minutes and 17 off the pace. And uh, Mark Miller also enjoying life. And why wouldn't you? Successful banker. And also investment manager, I think he likes to be called. And also pretty good when it comes to the metallic stuff as well. So a dramatic day. It was Pedersen and Stevenson in the buggy that were the top car of any British interest. Rochelle and Pugh did great in the bowler, coming home 74th, an hour and 24 only down, which is not bad at all. We spoke to Keith Gott today. He said that uh, sadly Richard Haywood and uh, Kane Atte were out of this one. Uh, Keith's son Ben is driving the big backup truck, the 8x8 van in support of the bowlers. Just didn't, couldn't do enough for uh, Richard Hayward. He's out. Everyone else is still in it. As far as the Brits are concerned, you'll be pleased about that. Tolleson and Cole, 111th today. Round and Coulson in the Desert Warrior, 118th. And uh, Tolleson and Evans, yes, the Tollesons are related, finishing 121st. It was busy. Top buggy today. Sergei Smakov. 
Matsuoka, well, he had uh, three punctures on this day. And uh, <laughs> no idea what they're saying to each other. Um, that translation is just beyond me, unfortunately. And here is Sergei Smakov, was expecting him just a few moments ago. Top buggy. Big open front there, which helps uh, all the cooling, naturally enough. And when it comes to the soft stuff, you really will see the buggies start to excel. And that's what Schles is waiting for. Tomorrow should be his day. And, um, well, today he declared that it was just a question of marking time before he could really let the buggy off the leash. Those are ominous words from a man who knows this race backwards. Won it twice, of course. Schles Ford buggy finishing 13th today. He's ninth in the overall standings is our Schles. We do love him. 35 minutes and 50 off the pace. Philip Gash looking um, bumped and bruised. Saw him with three wheels yesterday. Lost a bit more bodywork today. I think he's running out of spare panels. Carol Montier on board with her, on board with her saying it's, uh, it's hot out here. It's like driving in smoke. Lads, if you're going to stop, don't hold up a lady. <laughs> She's wondering what on earth's going on. Uh, you're going to have to move out of the way to let um, Carol through. And on she went. Just one of the minor problems on what was a very, very busy day. Huge stage. If you want problems, Robbie Gordon will give you plenty. Get out of the way. Your sentinel telling you I'm here. And if you don't get out of the way, he'll help you out of the way. Look at this. <laughs> well, he, he drives in NASCAR, of course. And uh, if you ain't rubbing, you ain't racing, as they say. <laughs> <laughs> he was mean today in the Hummer. It was a day that absolutely suited his vehicle and he didn't want to be held up by anybody. So confirmation of how they all finished. Incidentally, Gordon finished 15th. He's 36th overall, but four hours down. Trying to make all of it up today by the looks of him. Sainz absolutely supreme and stays up front there ahead of Davilius, Souza, Roma and Alphonse. VW, one, two and three. Who'd have believed it? Very, very narrow in the beginning in the mountain and uh, very slow, you know, second gear, first gear, a lot of the places, so it was very, very tricky. Uh, we went very slowly in the beginning and then uh, at the end of the mountain we caught Jean-Louis and I sat behind him for 100 kilometers in his dust and uh, he did not want to move over, so we had just had to wait in his dust, you know, until he had a puncture and then uh, we could go past and um, uh, otherwise we had no problem, we had uh, no punctures or anything, so... Well, as he was saying today, we got a little puncture towards the end, but uh, nothing really serious out there. Finished seventh today, the Souza, third in the ranking. And happy, obviously. And even Alphonse started to relax just a little bit, which is good, defending champion. Flat and fast, like Zera, in terms of the engine, well, we're right at the limit. Tomorrow will be a day for the buggies. I think tomorrow Schlesser will be in front, not us. But, hey, what can you do?